if you eat even one serving of red meat a day, you're increasing your risk of an early death by as much as 20%. Now, that startling finding, it is the headline from a new study by Harvard researchers. But you don't have to give up red meat altogether. Here's Elizabeth Cohen. Suzanne, there have been a lot of studies on red meat and health, but this new one is particularly large, more than 120,000 men and women. So what the researchers at Harvard did is they asked them how often they ate red meat and how often they ate processed meat, and then for about 25 years they followed these folks to see who died during that time and who didn't. So before I tell you what the results are, let's take a look at what they mean by a serving of meat. This is a serving of red meat. That's right, that's a little piece of steak, it's just three ounces. That counted as one serving. And a serving of processed meat was the equivalent of two slices of bacon. So let's see how these folks did. So the study subjects who ate just one serving of meat a day, just one three ounce serving, had a 13 percent increased risk of dying during the course of the study. Now folks who had just one serving of the processed meat had a 20 percent increased risk of dying. So what's in red meat that might possibly make it not particularly healthy? Well, doctors tell us it's the saturated fat, that that's the number one culprit. One eight ounce steak has all the saturated fat that you're supposed to have in an entire day. So you're getting it in one steak and that's all the saturated fat that you're supposed to have that day. Plus in the processed foods, you have things like sodium and nitrites. Now, people want to know if I want to eat meat, how much can I eat? How much is healthy? There's no quick and easy answer for that. So we're going to give you three answers. Here's the first one. This is from Dr. Dean Ornish, who wrote a commentary in the journal and he's a well-known advocate of vegetarian eating. He says, is red meat bad for you? In a word, yes. Then we asked the American Meat Institute about red meat, and they said red and processed meat continues to be a healthy part of a balanced diet. Now, we wanted an opinion in the middle, so we asked the doctor who wrote this new study. And he said, look, you don't have to be a vegetarian. That's not necessary to achieve optimal health. But he said, if you can replace any given serving of meat with a serving of chicken or a serving of fish or nuts or beans or vegetables, you are going to be healthier. You will live a longer life. He said that's the way to think about it. Every time you can say no to red meat and yes to one of those other things, you will increase your lifespan.